And there's our, our render drawing. So now we've got all of the wall types modeled that we think we need to have for our drawing. And we can come in and see that they've all been modeled properly. Now, all the lines are nice and straight because it just traces right over, uh, like Kevin said, exactly where the architect had the line. And you're not drawing it by hand, freehand, and making mistakes. Let's say this wall coming out here. That I guarantee you that's not drywall sticking outside the building, but they put it on the same layer as walls inside the building. So I can select that wall and just delete it, or I can select it and right click on it and choose change wall type. And that's what you would do if you went on site and found out if the walls were different than what the diagram said. So I'll just change the wall type and we'll make that maybe a concrete wall or something it's outside. So it's most likely not, um, not drywall, so make that a concrete wall. And the same thing, these walls around the stairwells. Remember I told you I left the stairwells on for a visual cue for me? All the walls around the stairwells have to meet fire code. So you can select one, hold down your control key, and then select all of the others that are part of this at the same time. And you can change multiple wall types at once. And we'll go ahead and make that a concrete wall as well. That saves a lot of effort. And the same with the door here. That door is probably a fire door. So I'll select it and change the wall type from standard office door to a fire exit door. And you do the same thing around all of the uh, stairwells because the concrete walls are going to have different attenuative values than the drywall. And a metal firewall door will have a different attenuative value than a standard interior wooden door. Anything else you want to add to that before we, we move on, sir? No, I think that, that covers it. At this point, you've got your floor plan. You've got all your walls defined. Uh, you and, can make the modifications as you need. But the very first thing you do after that, what is the very first thing? I was going to ask you exactly the same question. What's the most important thing you need to do after this? Let's scale this bad boy. Scale that drawing. Exactly. 